So my, I went to my neurologist today, and my doctors changed my medication. I was, um, as I made uh, in an er earlier video, that um, my doctor put me on on uh, haloperidol, which the brand name is Haldol, and I took that for you know um, a, few, a few weeks, a month, and um, the side effects were really intolerable. Um, not being able to sleep. Um, you know, I would stay up for you know a couple, you know maybe two days and not be able to sleep. It was really bad, not being able to eat, um, and uh, decreased phonic tics, but increased motor tics. And uh, so the, the medicine he's put, putting me on is called my, 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 I can't even pronounce it, but the uh, generic is called thioridazine, 25 milligram milligram tablets. So just take one of these a day and then, you know, if it works out, they'll go up a dose in that and see if it helps. Um, uh, of course, it's, uh, as, as um, with most of these um, Tourette syndrome medications, they're, you know, anti-psychotic entities for schizophrenia, um, treating schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease, and things like that, um, psychosis. But this one, um, they have properties of dopamine suppressors. Uh, being uh, do suppressing dopamine in the in the brain, which is um, part of what causes Tourette's, and um, uh, aside from having faulty neuroreceptors, um, so I really hope this works because <coughs> <coughs> sorry, uh, yeah, I just hope this works because I'm you know tired of ping ponging back and forth between medications and nothing seems to work. Anyways. The labels are interesting. May cause drowsiness. Do not use uh, or use care. Excuse me when operating a car or dangerous machinery. And um, you know I just got my bulldozer sitting out in the backyard, and I'm ready to take some of this stuff and get stoned and drive down the road. Actually, this medicine has me. It's what I feel like. I'm very like placid or something. It, very drowsy right now. Is it, yeah, to, it's my first day taking it. Um, so I shouldn't drink alcoholic beverages. That's pretty much the norm for taking medications. And I'm just, you know, <sighs> just want to drink. No, I'm just kidding. You should um, avoid prolonged uh, or excessive exposure to sun direct sunlight. I mentioned like a lot of these drugs kind of make you um, somewhat photosensitive. I know it was the same thing when I been on, had been on other medications, and none of them really made me photosensitive, except for um, some of my seizure medications, like the one that I've been on for a while that's really uh, worked, um, Lamictal, and it's, uh, <coughs> that, that one made me, like, photosensitive when I was trying to get used to it, so, and just, you know, the light just really, it made me sick, um, to my stomach, you know, like, that kind of sick. Um, it caused blurred vision, and... That's it. But there's a lot of uh, adverse side effects that I read about, including the possibility of sudden death, which is, um, I was reading the statistics for sudden death, and because um, it kind of caught my eye, I was reading, you know, antipsychotics, particularly this one, and it was saying that, um, you know, warning may cause, I know, it's like, well, a sudden death, and so I started reading about it, and comparatively to the number of people taking uh, these medications compared to the number of people who died. The, the number of people who died is like less than 10% of people with sudden death, and typically it was people, and, and even in that, people over the age of 45, most likely who already had some type of health problems, you know, um, maybe a heart condition or something else of that nature. So, Anyways, yeah, I hope I, I, I don't want to die. Not yet. Someday, but not right now. But, um, wish me luck with this one. Peace, love, and prosperity to everybody forever and ever until the end of time.